Hey, Bass East fans, Mike Iaconelli here. I want to talk to you about something called Match the Hatch. I know you've heard of Match the Hatch, and if you've probably heard of it, it's in fly fishing or trout fishing or something like that. But you know what? Match the Hatch is a theory that's good in all fishing, especially in bass fishing, right? One of the things I do all the time in tournaments and in practice for events is I try to figure out what the fish are eating. Every fish I catch, I look down his throat, I see if there's anything sticking out of his gullet, I'll feel his belly, and a lot of times I'll put a fish in a live well. You know what happens? He regurgitates what he's eating. This week, I found this. This actually came out of a fish's belly when I swung him in in practice, and it's a crawfish tail. And you know, one of, one of the things that's great about seeing what they're eating, matching the hatch, is you could match color, you could match size, and you could even match things like texture. So, you know, if you take a, a crawfish tail like this, you look at it, it's brown or orange. One of the main colors I threw this week was, was a brown and orange bait. The other thing is the texture. You know, this is a, this is a Havoc bait called a, a Pit Boss. And if you look at it, you might think, well, what do they put all these ribs in for? Is it just to attract fishermen? Not really. Take a look at the ribs on that Pit Boss on the belly. Take a look at the bottom of that crawfish tail. I mean, it's almost identical. The identical size, the identical spacing in the ribs. You know, little things like that, when you're trying to match exactly what they're eating, it's gonna help you get more fish, it's gonna help you put more fish in the boat, it's gonna help you catch bigger fish. Mike Iaconelli here to tell you that match to hatch is not just for trout fishing, it's also for bass fishing.